Hey there, Star Trek Fleet Command fans. Joined, as always, by my beautiful co-host, the illustrious daughter. And if you'd like to get this awesome little shirt like she has, all you gotta do is go to the Teespring store because she loves it, I love it. She also loves my microphone, uh, Audio-Technica AT2020 if you want one of those. And if you want one of these, like $10,000. That's how expensive it is to make them and birth them. It's pretty expensive. Yeah, pretty expensive. Anyway, I got officer video for you. Pretty cool tool made by one of my followers that we're working to make awesome for all of you. Free to play, well alike. So check it out. And uh, the little baby says hi. Yeah. Fancy intro music. Yeah. Woohoo! I know many of you are wondering, not what's behind me and not what it's above me. But what the heck is that on your face, dude? Okay, short story before the video. Was trying to clean my T-zones and it's like the little sucker for pull. I sucked too long. So I've got a hickey from a machine. Laugh away. Take that wherever you would like to take that. Just meander across your imagination with the thought of me, some random device sucking pores out of my head. But you know what? That's what happens when you get married. You get married and they present these things to you like, hey, do this. I'm like, why? I'm fine. I'm attractive. Now I'm attractive with this. So this is not cultural appropriation. This is wife. T-zoning. Yeah. But anyway, what I want to talk about today is I have a lot of players that come to me that are whales, free to play, and especially newer players. There are so many newer servers coming into Star Trek Fleet Command that they're honestly, they're experiencing some of the, I wouldn't call them problems, but they're experiencing some of the growing pains of trying to follow content creators like myself who are not where they are. <laughs> I mean, I do have a couple of accounts that are low level. I've got a level 26 account, but even that is higher than some. So there are tools that are being made or needed to be made like this one right here. Now I'm gonna give a shout out real quick to my friend Major and to give you a brief, brief, a brief summary of what this is behind me is this is an Excel spreadsheet. I know some of you nerds love spreadsheets. I personally don't like making spreadsheets, but I love them once they're created. And I've been helping him with this one in tie with my videos and helping edit it directly. And just to tell you what we're looking for in this video is a small select test sample group as we work on perfecting it. But now let's get into what this form actually is going to be. Now, as you can see, we've got these weird ratings here, ROP, Federation, Klingon, you see a bunch of random numbers, and you see over here, okay, this is Burn, Holbridge. So the basics of what the plan was is take every officer in the game, all of them, no matter if they're auxiliary crew, Holbridge, take every officer in the game, Put them in by stats. You can see the stats at level 30, no bonuses, no prime. So this is what their stats look like at max. And uh, I don't remember, I'm pretty sure Major got that from Elkars. Shout out Elkars. We get a lot of that type of stuff from Elkars. And best ship type. So we have it listed by types of ships it works on, the type of crew. And then we can come over here, we can scroll. We can see if it's mining base, base cracking, base defense, armadas, et cetera, et cetera. And then we have a numbering system. So all of this is to help players find what they need to focus on officer-wise for upgrading and using the badges that some of you newer players might not even know exist. You use badges to upgrade officers past certain tiers. And then of course, experience. But if you're sitting there going, well, what officers do I actually spend this on? So that's why we have this created. And if you see here, like on the left side, I have little X's. So what you'll be able to do in this form is let's say I, I clear out. I have no epics. I'm going to clear out all the X's right here. I'm going to leave those areas or those fields blank. And now what I can do if this form, if once it's completed and we give it out to you, we'll give you the actual form for you to fill out for yourself. I can come in here to this right side and say, hey, don't include any blanks. Only include X's, the ones I've marked that I have and hit OK. And then it will sort by what I have. It will get rid of all the other ones. It'll hide them from your system. So now you only see what you actually possess. And all you gotta do to show that you possess it is to clear in this box right here. So let's go back and uh, go back to all the officers. This is everything that's in currently. And we'll add more to it as it uh, grows. Now, how we pass out updated information, we'll, we'll get to that when we get to it. But so the main key is working on getting something that everybody can use so they have a better idea what to focus on. So you can see, what if I wanna know what engineering ones to upgrade? Well, let's do that. 
Now it's sorted. These are all the engineers. 10 of 10, 5 of 10. You're a DC. Jayla. That's a uh, Borg Jayla, by the way. We need to <laughs> correct that. Nero. And then you'll see over here a numbering preference for badge usage and an ROP. So the ROP is taking all of the promotion rankings, like how important they are in Federation, how important they are in badge preference, what they do in terms of the PVE grinding. So let me um, take this back out and we'll include everything. So what you'll see is if we sort by, sort A to Z. So now this is where we have the ROP. Now what we mean by ROP is the importance of that officer. How important are they? One is the highest that they can attain, two, two and a half, et cetera, and we rank it through multiple layers. So how effective are they in hostile grinding? How effective are they to your everyday play? PVP, base uh, rating, base defense, all of these play a factor. And then you'll see badge preference use. So the ROP is these are the most important officers to focus on getting and upgrading in the game. You'll see that there is Khan, Kirk, Decius, Curla, Shin, Talon, all of these incredibly important on upgrading. And we're, this is still a work in progress. These values have not been cemented in stone. And that's actually why we're reaching out to you. We need some of the more experienced players in the game to come with us and discuss in a small sample size what we think are the best rankings for all these officers. And then we'll take these and present them to the entire community saying, okay, here's what our team has come up with. Players who have played the game for two years, players who know the game inside and out. And here's what we believe are the best rankings for these officers. And doing so will allow newer players and younger players, or even veteran players to better assemble crews and better focus on how they want to upgrade their set. So like I said, let's do, let's take the ROP and I'm gonna clear out several of these officers. Oh, where's, there's Pike. Pike's down here. And by the way, for those wondering, Pike doesn't need to be upgraded because he's already good. Like, you don't have to focus on upgrading. Now, you'll notice that his upgrade level for badge use is 3.5, meaning he's not really worth putting a lot of badges into, but he is one of the most important officers in the game to be leveling up. So keep that in mind. See, I'm going to X out a lot of these because I want to pretend like I'm a brand new player. So I'm going to get rid of all these. We're going to go down to basically having... Nothing, nothing at all. So let's sort by here. And now let's do it. Now let's do sort by these ranges. So now I've sorted to where I've got a few blues, greens, and mostly these. But what I want to talk about is the, the grays, the cadets, which I know a lot of newer players are curious about. So you can see here, we've got them rated by, some of them are 2.5s, which is pretty high for a gray. The highest gray card is going to be the Talon card, which I actually exited out of. But what we'll do over here is we'll have a ranking that's currently not completed, but we'll have a ranking on how these officers perform in PVP. Because you can use the cadets in PVP with some success. Now, the only tricky part of this is we're doing it based on individual success and power. So we're not doing it by groups. We're not doing, hey, this morale crew is better than this PVP crew. We're simply doing it for a focusing on officer upgrading perspective. We're trying to take as much of that into account as possible. And if you want to be part of that group that looks through these officers, like the ones you see above me, and you come through and you decide what's important. Because remember, we're taking this from a base level. We're not doing prime officers. We're not worried about that. We're not worried about research. At the basic level, what officers are worth continuing to grow and what simply are not? For example, what if you are a player who runs almost exclusively battleships? You might need to focus on, wrong direction, you might need to focus on running officers that focus on health, like this. So you might, if you're a battleship player, you want that health to reach 300%. Well, this is also going to help you know which one of those officers hit do that without a static form. Now an editable form, a form that you can use to sort officers for multiple uses. We're also welcome to ideas. I, I, like I said, I've given a big shout out to Major who did the entire creation of this form, which is super useful. But I'm going to be helping edit it in terms of the rankings for these officers, and I want you to help as well. And I want you in the comment section below to provide ideas for what you would like to see this become. One thing that I've added is I'm going to help him create a ship version of this for ships that are the most important to focus on. And then we'll talk about pairing those ships with officers in these type of forms, because having this type of resource is incredibly, incredibly handy. So what I want you to do, if you want to be part of the small select group, please comment 
down below and message me directly on the Facebook page. I say, I say Facebook specifically because that is where I get a direct notification to my phone. Discord does not go to my phone. So send it there. The link for that is going to be in the comment section below. And then we will eventually be releasing this to the public. So look forward to that. And any ideas that you have to improve this, whether you're a whale, free to play, or brand new player, please let us know because we are here for you and we love you. Live long and prosper. Stay safe, other space cowboys. We'll catch you on the next video of Star Trek Fleet Command. Hey there, Star Trek Fleet Command fans. Me and the little baby would like to welcome you to the channel. And today, we got a pretty cool thing that... that please don't touch that. Please. <sighs> that face. That's not a toy. It's not, not a toy. Nope, that's not... No, uh, that's not what that does.